Atlantic City, the Las Vegas of the Eastern Seaboard. A neon island of eye-popping excess. A beach town built on the back of dirty deals, easy money, and legalized gambling. It's a type of town where everything is for sale, from saltwater taffy to political power and everything in between. The town is literally a monument to greed, a place where pleasure and politics meet on crowded casino floors. In Atlantic City, the name of the game has always been the same, to get rich quick, no matter what the cost. Fast and loose has always been the style in the seaside gambling mecca, and not just at the craps tables. In 1982, big money players were moving in on the real action. Action that took place not only on the casino floor, but in the office of the city's highest elected official. That year, political corruption became the official governing style of Atlantic City. And the beachside gambling getaway fell under the control of one of the country's most notorious gangsters.